everybody, you have found what to play next for bringing up with me this awesome game. This is the Pirate Caribbean Hunt. Activate smuggler skill to access smuggling missions. Of course we're going to check this out. Um, Unclaimed Bounty was the last one, the last pirate game that was this awesome. We caught Unclaimed um, Bounty in... It was Alpha. They were just incredible. So we wanted to check this out and see if it was going to do the same sort of thing. Captain, we've reached Cutlass Cove, although this rented sloop barely made it. Looked around and it seems to me all the chests are where we dropped them. So we have a really clear cut. Raise the sails, tap both, both sail buttons. Tap both sail buttons. Alright, so it is with Sod. You do have to sail it. It's given me an arrow. Let me see if I can get into my options here. Current cast settings. Not really. Gonna show me. That's unfortunate. Um, I do, you know, always kind of root for them to give me a good option to at least look up the controls, but it's fine. We're moving at a real slow pace just to kick it off, and we're gonna, you know. Interesting. It wants me to go with the current. Alright, so. Uh, you do cut across the current current um if you've never been in a boat this is acting a whole lot more like a um motorboat <laughs> unless like a sailboat that's okay now what i assume that there is a key okay so that puts me into fight mode i'm just gonna beach this cargo unless they tell me otherwise Nothing in the way of a tutorial. That's my only... Oh, nice. Okay, so... What's this? Pick up cargo. So we're gonna move this on board. I don't know why it didn't give me that option first. Really just nice interface, though, so far. I wish they had, like, a keyboard function. We got him on board, Captain. A little wet, but no worse than when we were tossing him overboard last night. Hey, they've fa <laughs> fared better in the storm than our poor old Lilith through the end. I guess we can return to have her fixed now, Captain. If you take a look at the map, I've already marked the best route back to the Maracaibo. So we have another ship. Tell me which way the wind is blowing. Then my map function is... Okay. Okay, so the key for that is W. That's to get the barrels. Let me, um, roll out of here. Oh, hush. I'm, like, directly against the current here. So it's not going to give me anything in the way. Open the map and sail to Maracaibo. Is it behind my head? It's not. I love figuring this stuff out. <laughs> What's this? That lets me see through a spyglass view. What's this? Oh, it's got a little... See that? The hand. That sail. Okay, cool. So they do give you a cut, um, like in Sid Meier's. Maricable again stinks just as bad as yesterday, Captain. I said we ought to get a little fixed day. I'll return the boat. You go to the shop and sell all the cargo. Really straightforward so far. Uh, let's see, so we're in the Port of Maracaibo. We're gonna have to offload our cargo. We can buy more, but I'm not seeing where we have the cash to do that just yet. We got the money cap and it's time for parallel. If the storm cracked our sides like damn cannonball. Go to the shipyard and pay for repairs. Military ship, cutter. Okay, so we can pick up another ship. We can exchange goods, uh, reputation, overview, current task. Gotta go to the shipyard and pay for repairs. It's just my main screen here, and all my functions seem to be right on it, so it's interesting. Repair it. Complete the repair of 50. Wow. We really have to go catch another 
vessel. The repairs are done. We're ready to take her to sea. See that green mark on the map? That's where we're at a sail. It's going to pop me up the map. Lucifer Coast. It costs us good coin to buy the location of that crashed Spanish treasure ship from Old Juan Garden. If he's right, we'll be rich men soon. We'll need to hurry to get the, to the wreck before anyone else finds out about it. Soon. Have a certain amount of time passing. That's interesting. It's been a long time since I played a game like that. Holy cow, it's a schooner. Alright. We're here, Captain. Look at. Damn, their eyes. The water is full of gunpowder barrels. If we hit them, we'll get blown to hell. Something's floating between the barrels. It's our treasure. We need to fish the crates out. Alright. So, somebody's really good with the tiller here. <laughs> I am gonna stay moving fairly slowly throughout this. That looks like a, um. Because as soon as I do kick off the anchor. So those are all the gunpowder. Boom's way up there, that's nice. Alright, there's one. Uh, the current's pushing me, a uh, wind, excuse me, is pushing me this way. I can kind of see it in the waves. I don't want to speed through it. I'll like, hit the gas a little bit. Yes, I do see the barrels, thank you. I love how they give me, like, all this warning. So we're, like, steering against the wind. It's really nice if you have ever been sailing. Um, it's a strikingly similar feeling. I don't know if you guys use your feet when you're... <laughs> Rather than do the gamer girl thing and use my hands, I tend to use my feet. Oh, we're gonna have to go right around this guy. My wake is gonna hit it, and that's about it. Oh, that's unfortunate, because that is not what I wanted to do, and I have to go out and turn around now. It's alright. We will use the wind. <laughs> or not. We might not be able to cut that. Turn into it. I see them! <sighs> Pox on your house! Balling, blasphemous, bloated dog. I have to, like, go in a full circle here. Alright, there we go. Now the wind's against us again. Do not hit the barrels. <laughs> I feel like blowing a, high, a, a hole in the side of my ship. It's just so hilarious. So. We need to... Oh, fudge your mother. How? Do I not have the option of retrieving those just yet? Now it did actually damage my ship, so I'm not doing this quite right. There's something going on there. This is full speed ahead. That's interesting. That's stop. Full sails, front sail. And I can cut it to 20%. Okay. Alright, I better grab these or else I'm going to have to cut here. Um, I try to be the queen of one cut and just kind of take you guys through like what, what you're doing. Um, this is just a raw sailing game. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, do I want to chance this? Kind of. I feel like the wind is going to start pushing me, like pushing into me. So I won't actually hit that barrel. Alright, there we go. Let's go and catch us some barrels. Now what in the heck do I have to do to get these? So let's stop. So I guess, um, hit them. I need to push them out of the minefield somehow. Cargo. There has to be a key that I have to be able to hit for this. Let me try clicking on them. This seems to be really mouse based, we'll try that first. So, there we go. It's because you have to drop your anchor. It was damn close. Men ain't happy though. They say we would spend a week battling storms and the cargo ain't worth much. It's cut as load at best. Definitely no treasure ship. I think we need to have a serious talk with that pig guard on. Sail to Merrick Cable and get prepped. Alright, so we'll go back to our home port. So if you were a big fan of um, Sid Meier's Pirates, if you liked Untamed or Unclaimed Bounty, 
Gonna buy some cannonballs. It's gonna take us through battle. It does have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out to the steam. Yeah, so they get into um, combat a little bit more, which is awesome. No sales, reload speed. You're gonna need to be really good at maneuvering by that point. So you can definitely see why they took, you know, the route that they did and went with um, where you uh, spend your time working on cargo and repairing your ship. But it was such a slow build that I wanted to cut out here and kind of get you guys more. So, um, I'm a northerner. We wear tank tops all summer long. Um, we actually generally don't use air conditioning because it's so cold for most of the year that it doesn't actually feel hot until it gets above 83 in our house. Um, let me take a look at the next one. If it has like a little bit more... I just, I want to see if there's, you know, a little bit more in the way of the plot, basically. The interface is very simple. They spent, they threw all of their time into working on how sailing works in the game, which is fine. That's amazing how bad that was in um, Assassin's Creed um, Black Sails, uh, for instance. You know, I was really excited about trying out the game, and then the steering was so counterintuitive that it was just... I couldn't play it. Um, unfortunately, I do know, you know, how to use a boat, just basics, and, you know, real small ones and so on. Uh, but, you know, also how to use a sailboat. Um, the, how, they, they got it, did they get into that in, like, other states, you know, history classes? Uh, it looks like it's very combat focused. So you are, you know, a smuggler. Um, you do run into other pirates and so on. So that's really interesting. That'll be a fun one um, to check out. Link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee is shipped to your door. They will put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. Or you can put it on stickers, for instance. We love our Pirate Queen logo. Um, so you can slap a sticker on pretty much anything. You know, go spider with it. Um, what else is down there? Uh, KOFI by this chick of coffee and another make me smile. Uh, Patreon is down there. So... We're super excited to have partnered with them. If you're more into the Twitch style where you support a monthly subscription, um, then definitely hit that because you can donate that way. Um, we support the indie community in general. So if it is developing gaming, we will be on it. And that way, if you want to have a gaming experience and know that you know, you're know you a part of that community or the gaming community in general, a lot of these guys, if they bring something to the table, will go on and continue, you know, turn into like a real company, what, what people would call that, where it starts out as a game dev and like maybe rotating assistants or so on, and then it jumps over to producing something more along the lines of either AAA games, but with their signature trademark. If you're wondering where that comes from, it's because they know they have to walk in with something to be welcome in the gaming community. So from the start, a dev will pick something and they pick sailing in this. Um, this was the other part that I was looking at, and I wasn't sure if they built like that. Now, Sid Meier's Pirates did not have this, neither did Untamed Bounty, um, or Unclaimed Bounty, even though that had really just very, very easy to use sailing mechanics. Um, this was different. This was more like, if you do like boats and so on, I would go for it. So, um, most of all, hit subscribe, that is totally free, so smash that subscribe button, hit the bell right next to it. And what it'll do is it'll give you an alert. So if you're into, you know, pirate games, it'll have popped up a little thumbnail and you've been on this, like, white on rice and just, you know, been able to go through and see, you know, like, it lets you build a town, it lets you do sailing and so on. So even though the interface is a little bit simple, um, the mechanics of it were incredible. UX, uh, it could use some tightening up. It's pretty obvious that they what they did had was a programmer um, who was just trying to kick butt and take names here, so... Thumb and a half. I mean, I would recommend it to anybody who wanted something fun and interesting to try and loved pirate, you know, or sailing games. It's a rare, it's a rare request, but it's a fairly common thing to be interested in it. So we love you guys. We love that you're as long as the ride. Most of all, hit, you know, smash the subscribe. If you do feel like supporting a dev or checking out new companies, etc. This is a great place to find them. We do also do, you know, series and so on. So hit that bell. Stay safe, game on, we will see you in the next video.